Okay, so I'm back with part five of the review on <clears throat> the Beach Boys uh, 30 Years of Good Vibrations box set. And I just finished up the uh, bonus CD, the fifth CD. And this was uh, put out here in the uh, here in the States. And the uh, over in the UK, I know they had an extra disc, a six disc, which uh, only had a handful of tracks. It's kind of odd. Um, I believe it had um, Tears in the Morning, Bluebirds in the Mount, Bluebirds over the Mountains, um, Sumahama, maybe Lady Linda. And here comes tonight. I don't know if it's a single version or the album version, but I think those songs perform better over in the UK. That they <clears throat> that for some reason I guess Capital or there's I don't know if they have a different record company over there put out a six disc of stuff that did well over there um, on the charts. So I don't have that. Uh, I can't remember if I've seen a picture of that or not online, it, how, if it matches up with the box set or not. Anyway, I'm going to finish up here my conclusion. Um, as I was showing last time, at the very end, the booklet that comes with this, and it's your typical uh, CD booklet, you know, it comes in the long box or whatever. And it's got some great pictures and a uh, great essay and uh, great information. And on the back here we have, uh, let's get together and do it again. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I have a little, the uh, guy's feet there in their, uh, in the, one of the first few sessions they had. Um, and then this is a uh, little letter from Brian Wilson, um, and typical surfer there, little surfer idol and uh, here we have the beginning of the American family um, liner notes by David Leaf which I quite enjoy he knows his stuff uh, never knew anything that uh, he did wrong in my eyes or anything I, I'm not really sure why he's not in Brian Wilson camp right now um, must be something personal or behind the scenes you don't hear about as much so there's Brian on the left uh, as a kid obviously and then there's the guys Carl's a little cut off there um, then we go in and of course it's got lyrics uh, all over the place uh, catch a wave when you're sitting on top of the world and uh, starts out with where everything begins and then there's a little bit of Hawthorne stuff. Uh, then singing uh, at a uh, school assembly. And I think this is Hawthorne uh, Parade here. You have uh, four freshmen represent here, which was the one of the main inspirations, the motive, in, inspirations on Brian and the <clears throat> harmonies he would cut. And there's Carl and. Uh, Part of Surfing USA cover there, uh, the surfer in the front, and we have the uh, 45 of Surfing, and there is the uh, recording tape, uh, what was written there for uh, the rehearsal, and then there's a little bit about the guys. Um, performing and uh, business card there and promotion uh, letter there and we have Murray Wilson um, looks like a letter from Murray Wilson no a letter to Murray from Nick Vinay <clears throat> wonder how much that would be if you get to get your hands on that um, here we have Surf and Safari, uh, a little misspelled there, Surf and Safari. 
uh, Judy when it was uh, recorded, Lonely Sea, and 409. So those were all, I believe, recorded. Uh, first off, I'm not sure if that was at the Capitol uh, Studio or not. <clears throat> I actually haven't read up on this in a while. I uh, just looked through it earlier. Just really awesome montage of pictures. Uh, this would be some of their first sessions, obviously, because we know Mike plays tenor sax all the time. And actually, never, but whatever. And more uh, of the guys. There's them uh, at Capitol Records. And it looks like a very shy Brian here. The guys in Pendletones with David Marks. And there's a letter uh, instructions from, uh, let's see, Brian uh, to Dave about what to wear and everything for the performance. <clears throat> then we have a little more promotion, uh, surf and stuff, and there's a surf and safari cover shoe, uh, one of them there, and more lyrics spread throughout, and there we have the guys, and David Marks in there as well, looks like we have a pageant that went on, Mike and uh, Brian on little Honda, and Mike and Dennis and some bumper cars, we have Shut Down Volume 2 cover, um, Brian and Marilyn, and some more, uh, it's like backstage stuff, um, kind of promo pictures I've seen over the years and throughout documentaries and such. Here's Brian with his camera, um, more lyrics and as we get through all summer long and all that. Uh, there's in the back of my mind represented there in the lyrics. Kind of odd they threw out lyrics that, of songs that weren't on the box set, but no one, I'm not complaining. Um, there's, a, there's a picture of uh, Glenn Campbell with Carl, I believe, and another well known picture of Glenn Campbell. <clears throat> Let's see here. And more about Brian and the guys still during the very popular summer uh, celebrated summer uh, albums Girls on the Beach poster um, <clears throat> this is part uh, pretty neat picture they combined this where my pinky is and combined this where Dennis is mowing the lawn they put these together for the Hawthorne album cover, if you have that. And I feel like they have Brian washing his car, and then Dennis is on the left of him mowing the lawn. It's pretty awesome how they did that. Um, I have a poster of that that someone gave me, and it's pretty cool. Here's an outtake from the Summer Days cover. Um, Bruce being on there, I believe he was not able to be on the cover because uh, he was still on Columbia Records. And uh, it's kind of odd, they only had four of the guys on there, the three Wilson brothers and Mike, and Al was sick. Don't know why they couldn't include him or wait for him, but whatever. There's the party album represented. You got Bruce there, Marilyn with Brian and uh, Mike and Carl. Um, now we have Pet Sounds era represented. Brian producing there. Uh, looks like a call sheet for God Only Knows. Um, who's doing what. Some different promo picture outtakes from Pet Sounds. In studio stuff. Great pics of the guys. There's Brian in an inf infamous uh, cow vest, sweater vest. Um, here we get more into uh, little pet sounds and uh, good vibrations. And I uh, always enjoy those pictures. Now we get into um, 
smile error, which is one of the more interesting things that everyone likes to get to in this box set. Um, he has some great quotes along the way uh, on the sides of different things. Um, here's some of the smile uh, tapes, which would, everyone loves to drool over. Um, I always like to notice that Endless Sleep is in there, and it's like, um, that wasn't a smile track, but whatever. Um, and I just noticed this the other day when I was looking at it. This has uh, diff different quotes, like, I'm uh, doing a spiritual sound and a teenage symphony of the god and stuff. I, I really like this little thing. It's pretty cool with Brian. I mean, he's just so flipping cool during this time era. But I just realized that was the four elements, the fire, water... You know, Mrs. O'Leary's cow, love to say that, uh, uh, wind and earth. I actually didn't realize that for the longest time. I guess I'm a moron, um, and I've never really talked about this book with anybody, but I didn't realize that. So, uh, more smile stuff. Um, lyrics from Heroes and Villains. And, uh, there's, uh, Carl with Audrey Wilson, and looks like a shoot from the Good Vibrations video where they use the firehouse, and by killing Smile, he saved himself. So there's that. Some of the beach picks they used, um, I really enjoy. It's kind of around that, I want to say late in Hawaii or wild honey era. I don't know the specific date on that, so I'm not I I'm not gonna say. But and this turns into uh, Wild Honey. Uh, the disc three is represented here. Um, music for Brian to cool out by. Uh, you know, cool down from the production rat race of everything. And here we got cool cool water. Uh, which demos on this disc, and then we have friends. A little quote there. Most of the pictures here are from the late in Hawaii uh, rehearsals, as we or I've seen a lot of those uh, video clips and pictures from documentaries. There's Dennis jumping in. Uh, not sure where that pool is. Um, and Brian and Al. Uh, more rehearsals. Then we have, uh, would be like 2020 era, some flower coming in. Um, that's when the guys performed in D.C., I want to say in 70 or 71, um, on D-Day, or I can't remember what that was called. Someone who's much better at the dates and everything will probably say, hey, it's this, so... And I, I always thought this was like a little promotion from Sunflower. It's always a really cool poster. Fantasy Worlds and Disney Girls. I'm coming back. A little Disney Girls reference. And these are uh, some of the uh, 1970 Sunflower promotional pics um, included there. Um, and the lyrics there. And the chaparral flows uh, to the sea. Uh, beneath the waves of golden sunshine, which is from Holland's California, uh, Al Jardine's lyrics, and then we kind of make a big jump. I mean, right here it, it does talk about Holland, um, but we have you know picture of Brian, what looks like the late '70s, Carl mid '70s with his uh, suits there. Um, you know, this is getting into the mid-70s, and this, this kind of quickly gets kind of summed up, uh, you know, talking about the 15 big ones and everything. <clears throat> Great picture of Dennis performing there. Um, and it kind of kind of gets quickly summed up, almost like how the CD ends, um, the fourth CD, and of course the... Uh, picture promo picture from the 1985 album, a reference to uh, "Don't uh, Don't Talk, Put Your Head on My Shoulder." Brian's um, uh, 
advice to listen, listen, listen. Um, we had some post credit stuff here and some more pictures. Uh, I want to say that's one of their earlier Hawaii uh, ventures of the guys. And more fun pics. Uh, Brian is Santa Claus there. So, uh, just a few credits I'd like to point out. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. We have the original recordings engineered. Has all the engineers there. Larry, Larry Levine, Chuck Britz, uh, Steve Desper, all those guys. All selections are from the original mono and two-track uh, masters, except uh, Punchline, Heroes and Villains sections, Wind Chimes, uh, Do You Like Worms, Love to Say Dada, Surf's Up, Vegetables, Ruby Baby, uh, Fairy Tale Music, and CD5. So a lot of the Smile stuff and other bonus stuff. We have more thanks to the guys. Over here... Is additional thanks. I was looking at this the other day, um, and I suppose it would be a, a. I recognize a lot of these names now as I've gotten into more Beach Boys lore, um, and know you know from people from message boards and different bands and fans and books and you know we have Audrey Wilson, Timothy White, and Rick Hinn, which you know was in. Uh, the Sun Rays, Fred Vale, Lenny Warnocker, uh, Chuck Britz, um, Kim Barnes, Les Chan. Uh, like to point out here, if you're on the smiley board, here's our very own Andrew Doe. So he's really 